Hi, this is Akin, and welcome back to my channel. Well, we just had a victory today against Google and uh, YouTube. Um, some litigation um, claiming that they were a monopoly and the judge agreed with it. What they're going to do afterwards, we don't know. But here's another situation here. Elon Musk is filing a lawsuit against uh, an advertising giant because I think they're the ones who are responsible for... Um, Having all these companies pull the plug off of uh, X because apparently these folks don't agree with uh, Elon Musk's version of free speech. So let's see how this goes, right? So it says Elon Musk X files antitrust lawsuit against Worldwide Advertising Group. X CEO Linda Yakaron says Graham's tactics have cost the social media site. Billions. This is from Fox News by Beckham Durham Andrew Miller. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So Elon Musk social media platform X has filed a antitrust lawsuit against the Global Alliance for Responsible Media. Hmm. Graham. According to the advertising groups of illegal boycotting companies, including X formerly known as Twitter. So the CEO, Linda Y, I'm not pronouncing her name again, Tuesday that the company had filed a lawsuit against Graham, World Federation of Advertisers, this is another group, the WFA, and Graham members, CAVS Health, Mars, Oster, and Unerver. I forgot what products they do. I think they're household products or something. So, oh, Fox Business had reached out to all these defendants for comment. Of course, they don't want to comment. Uh, let's see. So, Miss Y says the X-Files I cannot pronounce the name. I'm sorry. The suit after reviewing the House Judicial Committee recent investigation that found Evans and Graham and his members directly organized boycotts and used other indirect tactics to target disfavor platforms, containers, creators, and news organizations in an effort to demonetize and, in effect, limit certain choices for consumers. She said X determined Graham's tactics had cost X billions of dollars in a Tuesday press release, the video sharing platform and cloud service provider Rumble announced it was joining the lawsuit. So it's two for the price of one. Grant claims to be a political and voluntary and says it's benefits the member for providing use of resources and information about the best practice to learn where their advertising investments go and to avoid placement next to illegal or harmful content that could Damage their brand's reputation. Whoopie doo, that's a lot of baloney. However, Grant's critics had a different view of the organization, suggest they had concluded with dozens of U.S. major corporations to push boycotts and suppress speech in a manner that targets conservatives and non conservatives as well, in some cases. In discussing his views on freedom of speech, Grant's uh, leader and co founder, Rob. Raguitz had expressed frustration with the extreme global interpretation of the U.S. Constitution and complained about using principles for governments and applying them as literal law for 230 years, it says made by white men exclusively. With this worldwide view, Graham pushed what it calls uncommon collaboration to raise about the individual common or commercial interest. Uh, Graham is alleged to have worked with large companies to impose advertising crackdowns on Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, Spotify, political candidates and news organizations including Fox News, The Daily Wire, and Brett Bart News. Musk also publicly criticized Graham and Brady suggested taking legal action against the group while referring to it as an advertising boycott racket. The WFA spokesperson, Will Gilroy, told Fox News, oh, I could pronounce that, 
digitally this week that the recent allegations by the U.S. Judicial Committee against Graham for anti-competitive behavior is unfounded. That's what uh, Google said about their lawsuit, and they lost. Members of Graham is entirely voluntary. Its framework and tools are intentionally broad, and individual companies are free to review, adopt, modify, or reject them as see fit. Goodroy said the decisions where and when to advertise is always down to the individual advertiser in collaboration with the agency partners where whatever it says. Recent engagement of the industry leaders suggests that Grant's work remain valuable and increasing relative as digital media continues to develop, continues as such grants will continue to live up to his commitment to help allow his members to drive more responsible marketing practices. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not how they see it because if you recall, a lot of companies at one time pulled out their advertising from uh, X. And you may recall a now well-known uh, uh, video of Elon Musk at a New York Times forum where he's cursing out the CEO of Disney and others. And he said, you know, you're going to blackmail me with money? Then F you. Remember that? Yep. That's the one. Uh, I don't have that on my video, but yes, you can look it up. Elon Musk is uh, cursing out Bob Eigner of uh, Disney. One of the companies that pulled out advertising from X. You know, they're trying to undermine X and uh, they not succeeded. A lot of us uh, were, are paying the, for that blue um, check mark and uh, other stuff and Prime and people are putting in money for advertising to make up for the loss advertising they did they ex lost after they they pulled out you know like coffee brand coffee and rumble and uh tim um cast and so on and you know when i was suspended i still kept paying because i knew if i did get unsuspended from x i didn't have to pay up all that money so and I did a little upgrading to a few miles more. I'm not sure if I want to get the premium yet, but I'm going to try. But but basically, this is what it is. It's a monopoly, just like Google's a monopoly. And um, we don't know what's going to happen because it's going to be a penalty-free uh, trial later on for damages. Uh, either money or may it break up the company or something. We don't know yet. Um, hopefully, it's not money. As um, the quartering uh, remarked, this is about the same thing that this group is uh, is monopolizing uh, advertising revenues, and they will put it on where they want to put it in, and screw everybody else who don't agree with their opinions. Um, mostly conservatives and. And some Democrats that they don't agree with, it's the ones they like to screw over. So that's what's happening right now. Um, I got other stories coming up, and I hope they'll be able to put it on tonight. So this is Outcan saying so long for now, and don't forget to stop.